In this video, we'll create a Bootstrap 4 navigation menu with a search bar at the top. So let's take a look at it here before we get started. So off to the left, we have our Bootstrap logo there. Then we have our navigation items. And then off to the right, we have our search bar here with the input and then the search button. Okay, so let's take a look at it once we size it down. So once we get to 768 pixels, it's going to turn into the collapsible navigation menu here that you're seeing. And we'll have the search input section and the search button all the way to the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can change the width uh, at which it collapses into the mobile version. But first, let's take a look at what we need to get started. In the description of this video will be the Bootstrap Navigation Menu starter files, including a file here if you want to follow along with the tutorial and the completed version off to the left in the folder. So for the tutorial, I'm going to be using the free program called Sublime Text, which you can get from sublimetext.com. And I'm also going to have it open in Google Chrome while we're laying out our navigation menu with the search bar. Okay, so let's put this aside and see what's already included for us here in the starter file. So we have our doc type HTML and inside of our head section we have our title followed by the latest version of Bootstrap CSS which is Bootstrap 4, the latest version of jQuery, then the latest version of popper.js which is recommended for Bootstrap, and then of course uh, bootstrap.js here with Bootstrap 4. So I'm just going to enter some dummy text in here to make sure I'm connected to Google Chrome, which I am, as you can see here. And let's go ahead and get started with our first tag for our nav bar. So after I create a little bit of space here so we're not looking at the bottom of the screen, the first thing that we'll start off with is the HTML5 nav. And then we're going to give it a class and we're going to call it nav bar navbar dash expand dash md for medium or 768 pixels so basically we're saying here that once we get to 768 pixels we want it to expand to the full width navigation menu and then let's use the default uh, bootstrap navigation dark shade with navbar dark bg dark okay so now if we go ahead and refresh we're gonna start to see this the start of our nav bar here so next let's add our bootstrap text off to the left so this is basically our logo section so we'll say a class nav bar dash brand and then we'll add our link so href you can use a blank link here with a hashtag or do index.html and then write bootstrap here or you can add your logo image so now if we refresh there we have our bootstrap text, but it's not showing as the white version. So I missed something already. Okay, so navbar dash dark. I missed the K in dark right here. Okay, so now we have it displaying as the original. And let's move on to our icon next. So we'll say button class navbar dash toggler and then we'll need to give it a type we'll say button and then data toggle collapse because this is going to be opening and collapsing our uh, unordered list for our navigation and we'll need to create a data target for our unordered list ID so we'll just say hashtag for the ID and then navbar supported content with a capital S in supported and a capital C in content. And then we'll want a little bit of space in between our button here to add the icon because right now it's just going to show up as this sort of beginner button here. So let's do our hamburger icon. So we'll use a span tag here and write span class navbar dash toggler dash icon. Okay, so here we have our icon. It's pretty simple as compared to previous versions of Bootstrap where we needed to do a span class for each individual bar. So next let's get started with our unordered list. So we'll want to wrap that with a, a div class for the collapsible 
section. So we'll say div class collapse navbar dash collapse and then we'll add the ID that we referenced with our data target above. So that's navbar supported content and again with the capital S and capital C. Okay then we can drop down and close out the div and start our unordered list for our list item links. So UL class navbar dash nav and then MX auto and we'll get to what MX auto does for us in just a moment but first we'll need to add a list item to see the the uh, the effect it has when we change MX auto to something else so let's go ahead and add the first uh, navigation link here so we'll say li class nav dash item active you always want your first one to be active okay and then we'll say href or sorry a class rather nav link and then href hashtag I'll just leave it blank and then home for our first link so let's go ahead and refresh there we have our first navigation item and let's change MX auto to ML auto and what that's going to do is it's going to push it all the way off to the right and then if we do MD auto that's going to push it all the way off to the left so since we're going to add the uh, search bar we'll just keep it in the middle so we have room off to the right for the search bar and let's add the rest of our navigation links now so I'll say li class nav dash item and then inside of it we'll have our a class nav link and then href and I'll leave it blank again and then our second one is about and then we'll close out our list item now if we refresh there we have our about link and next we need services and contacts so to save us some time I'm just gonna paste this same li class nav item twice and then all we need to change is the about text to services and contact okay so there we have all four of our navigation items and it's a uh, expanding at 768 pixels so next let's go ahead and add our search bar so we'll drop down underneath our unordered list and we'll start with the HTML uh, form tag and we'll say form class form dash align and then drop down and close out the form tag and inside of that we'll start with our uh, input section where it says search and then we'll add our button so we'll use the input tag and say input class form dash control and mr dash sm dash two to add some spacing off to the right of our uh, input and then t uh, type search and placeholder you can write what you want here but I'll just keep it at search okay and then lastly we'll say area dash label equals search okay so now if we go and refresh there we have our input section and we're ready to add the search button to the right of it so we'll use the button tag and we'll want to give it a class so we'll say btn btn dash light and my dash sm dash zero for our spacing and then type submit and in between our button tag we'll just need to write a uh, search or whatever you want your button to say okay so let's go ahead and see how it looks now so if you refresh there we have it but the button isn't appearing on the same line so I must have missed something here okay so for our form class we'll actually want it to be uh, form dash inline rather than just form dash line alright so upon refreshing that looks good just like the original and if we 
collapse it here. It's looking pretty good. Okay. So that does it. I want to thank you for sticking around with me. Please remember to like this video, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Then I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.